May June? Here. Commissioner Anderson? Here. Vice Chair Palomera? Here. Chair Varga? Here. You have a quorum present. We need a, we need a, a good laugh uh, this morning <laughs> after uh, the news we heard. Um, thank you. <laughs> Everyone's uh, present. Can you hear so me let's now? Go on to the first. Yes, we can hear you, Commissioner. We can hear okay, you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. First item on the agenda. Item B, Chairwoman's remarks. I'm just saddened to hear that, um, and it was in the newspaper uh, already, that um, Morris Hood had passed. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm really so, so sad about that. Um, I know that most of us knew him or served with him. I served with his entire family. And um, so my prayers and thoughts are with his family. And um, I know he's with God and in a good place, but I wish he was among us. Um, if we could have a moment of silence Thank you. Next item. Item C, approval of the minutes of the May 5th, 2020 meeting. So moved. Got that phone up there. We're on. Do we have support? Support. Commissioner Thune, supported by Commissioner Palomero. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item. Item D, unfinished business. There is none. Item E1, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-125 certifying revenue in the county health fund and in the COVID-19 fund. Okay, could we move up the agenda on the screen, please? Thank you. Any questions uh, for members? Pretty self explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, Madam, Madam Chair. Commissioner Anderson. Uh, yes, I know this uh, is the COVID fund. Uh, are we going to be getting a detailed information on money that's coming in and going out of that fund and uh, what is being spent for? Yes, uh, I spoke to uh, Khalil yesterday and I spoke to him again last week. I've been almost every day, in fact, and uh, asked him to come today to give us a briefing on how much we've spent so far. And he said that in two weeks, he should have the full um, expenditure, well, more of it, and he would have a, a, a better report for us. So um, they're compiling everything, and they will be here in two weeks. I really thought that we needed them this week, but they won't be able to come until next week. Uh, Kelly? Kelly Rowell, Budget Director. There's going to be various yes. grants going into Fund 298. Um, so there will be various sources of funding and various sources of expenditures uh, going out of it. Um, as they come through, we can provide a report. We'll also be submitting the budget amendment for the CARES funding of the $188 million we received recently. So that will be uh, with the Ways and Means Committee uh, in two weeks. And as the funding um, is requested out of that from the various department departmental needs, we will provide adjustments out of that into uh, the department within the 298 fund. That's the plan. 
Okay. Uh, I would imagine the commission, uh, whatever we spend for protective uh, gear and uh, masks and such, that we probably will be reimbursed as well. If it is a valid expenditure under the COVID, it could be it could be reimbursed. Commissioner uh, You know what, Kelly? Thank you, Madam Chair. Kelly just answered one of my the question I was going to ask. So thank you. You're welcome. Commissioner do you have any more thoughts? No, that that was what I, all I was looking for is to find out when we were going to get an accounting for money coming in and going out. Okay. Anyone, anyone else? In that case, uh, I'll take a motion. I'll move to approve, Marecki. Support, Baydun. Thank you. It's been moved and supported. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item. Item E2, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-130 certifying revenue in the COVID-19 fund. Same, same, same. Um, any, any discussion on this item? I'll move for approval. Support. Support. Scott. Support. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Next item. Item E3, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-134 certified revenue in the general fund. Okay, this is just uh, moving money from secondary road to traffic accident prevention. Um, I'll move approval, Marecki. Support. It's been moved and supported. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item. Item E4, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-124, reallocating expenditures in the law enforcement fund. Okay, could you move that up on the agenda a little bit, please? Yeah, because we can't see it all. Okay. That's good. Thank you. It's moving funds within the um, um, juvenile. I'll move approval, Madam, Marecki. Madam Chair, I have a question. My hand. Yes, up. Commissioner Anderson. Uh, just, uh, Samara, if you could uh, uh, fill us in as to, um, oh, we're on four, right? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, I, I'm not quibbling about the amount of the money, but what is the advertising uh, that's done uh, for that? Um, through the chair, this is Sumaya. Good afternoon. This is um, we would we started recruitment ads for uh, for radio ads last year, and this is part of it. The vendor Radio One did not send us an invoice. We were not um, we weren't pay we were not able to pay them last year. So this is to pay an invoice that was accrued last year. Um, it was through the radio station to recruit uh, people to um, apply as officers at the sheriff's office. Okay, so it says uh, advertising for JAG. Um, well, JAG grant allows us to pay for um, recruitment and that was part of the recruitment process. Uh, it's the line item is called advertisement. There is no line item that says recruitment. 
within the financial statements. So that's why it's called advertisement. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll support that, Scott. Support. My I is that because this particular grant, Jack, started in 2016. Is that why it says advertising for Jack 2016? It's, it's the payment was through the 2016 grant. Every year we get a different grant. And depending on the application, some grants will apply, allow us to have advertisement. Some grants will say, well, no, you can spend it on equipment uh, for the police officer. So depending on um, when we submitted the application, what we submitted for is that when we can use the funds for. For 2016, we were able to, in the application, um, we requested money for advertisement. That's why, or for recruitment ads. And that's why we were able to um, use the funds from the 2016 check. So this rolls over if we don't use it. Yeah. One year, it rolls over to the next. Okay. Just one Usually, yes. Yeah, sure the 2016 people... grants for the Jack 2016 grants, this one will end September 30th, but the rest of them will roll over, yes. Okay, that's good to, good to know in case somebody's listening. Um, let's understand why this year uh, we're going back all the way to uh, 2016. Yeah. Already, uh, do I hear a motion on here? We have this motion. one, item four. We have motion to support. Okay, it is. And Kelly, Kelly Rao would like to speak. Kelly Rao, I just wanted to say the word, the wording on number four is confusing. It's not for JAG. It's advertising that's to be charged to the JAG grant. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification. Well, thanks for that clarification. Thank you. Okay, let's call the question. All in favor of uh, number four, say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item. I have an E5 requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2025-133, reallocating expenditures in the juvenile justice neglect fund. Okay, we're, we're moving money so they can keep their uh, programs going in the juvenile detention. Any I'm questions on this one? And I'll support it, Scott. Commissioner Anderson made the motion and supported by Commissioner Martha G. Scott. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item, please. Item E6, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-138, certifying and reallocating expenditures in the general fund. Already, would you like to address this one, Samaya? Absolutely. Um, through the chair, this is part of the secondary roads grant that we receive every year. We received an additional two hundred eighty-eight thousand um, dollars. The original grant for twenty fiscal year twenty twenty was one point two million, and now it's up to one point five million. This the increase um, did allow us to um, be able to purchase prep radios. Tape. We have not purchased the items, but it, it will allow us to purchase those items: prep radios, tasers, vehicles, um, scales. Um, for the overweight trucks. So um, it's a really good grant and we're hoping to use the money before September 30th so we can uh, benefit mm -hmm. from the equipment that we'll be able to use, um, to buy. So move, Madam Chair. Support. It's been moved by Commissioner Martha G. Scott, second by Commissioner Anderson. Yes. Anderson. Okay. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item. We are now on the agenda for item E7. And it's 
requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-141 certifying revenue in the COVID-19 fund. Okay, this is self-explanatory. Kelly, do you, do you want to say anything special on this one? We're certifying uh, some of the monies. Um, any questions on this item? Commissioner Marecki has her hand raised. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Marecki. I wanted to ask Kelly or whoever can answer. Now, is this part of the 188 million? Are we, are we watching it being broken up at this point or is this a different? different pot. This is a different pot of money, Kelly Rowe. Okay. All right. Thank you. It will be in the 298 fund as well. Well, Kelly, will the, will the 188 go into the 298? 188 million, will that eventually get into the 298 fund? Is that how it works? Yes, we will be doing a budget amendment in two weeks. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And to that point, Madam Chair, I had a question. This is Commissioner yes. McCormick. Yes. Thank you. Um, so what is the total amount of COVID funds that we have received? Oh, there's various funding. Let me see if I can do a quick calculation. Um, And if uh, you can also see if there is uh, just the breakdown for uh, it's the about 194 million that I have record of at the. Okay, is there a breakdown for the uh, uh, Department of Health and Human Services with? With the exception of the 188, there is a breakdown, yes. Okay, do you know what that amount is? For public health, it, there's, let's see here, five grants, it looks like totaling about 900,000. Thank you. You're welcome. I just received a message from Mary Carr said that the contract for this will be on HHS committee today. Mary, am I correct? Mary Carr? Yes, you are correct. It will be on this afternoon's agenda. Thank you for telling us that. You're welcome. Madam Chair, Martha Scott. Madam Chair, yes. I've had, had, my hand, had my hand up for a while now. <laughs> Go ahead, Martha. I'm sorry. What a gentleman you are. Um, Commissioner Anderson, Go ahead, and then Commissioner Martha G. Scott. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I was only going to ask uh, Kelly, uh, just so I'm clear, this 500 million, or 500,000, 559,000 uh, is not part of the, th the over 3 million that we received in that one grant? That is correct. It's not, correct? It is not part of it. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Commissioner Martha G. Scott. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I understand that we're cutting um, some funding for the Children's Center in Detroit, and I was, and, and that's through the county. Can they get some of that um, monies uh, from this care? That would need to be addressed through HHBS. I'm not sure how that works through the children's group. HHBS, but. what's that? Health, Human, and Veteran Services. Okay, all right. 
What time is the committee meeting today? Do you know the HHS? 130. 1.30. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank yes, you. On, on item seven, uh, any more questions? Do I hear a motion? So move. Commissioner Mark, the G. Scott moves. Support. By How are you doing? Commissioner Baydoon, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item. We return to the agenda. Item F, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. All right, members, uh, this is a, a, for you. Uh, do you have any such other matters that you would like to discuss? I hear none. Kelly, do you have any other matters that you need to bring to our attention at this time? At this time, we are still moving through the budget process and uh, it's, you know, you know, working through all the different funding sources that we're getting and how we can uh, pay for any expenditures that are currently budgeted. So that's still up for debate, uh, but we are moving forward with the budget. I'd also like to recognize um, my assistant budget director, Vinita Terry. Uh, she came on board last month. I think she was supposed to start in March, but she came on board last month. So she is uh, listening, I believe, to the Zoom meeting. But uh, she Hello, can be contacted. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. And that is all I have at the moment. Oh, um, I apologize. There is one more thing. We are. Um, we will be submitting the deficit elimination plan that is required uh, through, with this um, FY19 audit report to the state. So that will be on um, next week's or next uh, Ways and Means Committee uh, receive and file. Kelly, uh, do you have a list of all the contracts that were um, told that they were not going to be extending it or that they had um, um, said that they were not going to honor after a certain date? Uh, I have a listing of contracts that need to be reviewed. I don't know of any final decisions that have been made on what they're not extending or renewed. Um, Aaron Wagner would have that listing. I can get that him to send something to you. But at this point, okay. I'm not sure there's uh -oh. been final decisions. You're talking contracts in general, correct? All contracts where people may have had contracts and now they're told that uh, as of a certain date, they will no longer have the contract, so they're getting out of those. Uh, one was with the Wayne State University Extension, or Michigan State University Extension, and uh, I'm working on that to see if we can maybe do it a different way. Um, I'm hoping that if we're going to say to somebody that your contract now is null and void, that we give them an opportunity to uh, respond. And if we're looking for a certain amount of money that we want that particular department or um, office to uh, come up with in savings, I would hope that we're allowing them to suggest how they can save the money as opposed to just saying your contract is null and void. So I'm working on that I know one that Aaron, particular contract. Go ahead. I know that Aaron Wagner is working with all the vendors, uh, reviewing as well as reviewing all the contracts that can be renewed 
can be renegotiated or possibly canceled. So I'm not sure what conversations he has had with MSU in particular, but I can get with him. Okay, uh, I would really appreciate it. I had uh, made some uh, suggestions um, according to how they could work it with uh, Michigan State University Extension. And um, uh, I think we'll be able to come to some agreement and still have a contract with them, continue their contract, but with a saving. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. So I just wanted to put that out there for committee members that we are working on that and we will save money, but hopefully their contract Fact will um, will still be good until the end of the year. the The big question, Kelly, is, um, and I know this is not to you, but um, maybe information is that um, some of these contracts you have to give a termination notice of a certain period, and like with MSU, it's 120 days. So by the time we would do that, um, it's almost the end of the year. So, right. but they do want to give back some savings, so. Okay, I'll keep that in mind and I'll pass the information on to Aaron Wagner. Madam Chair. I, I will contact him as well. Okay. Commissioner McCormick. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just had a quick question in reference to, you, you just made me think about something. Um, in reference to the number of employees that uh, are on furlough or um, are we taking requests from employees if, if they want to be a part of, uh, of uh, the folks that are furloughed? Kelly Rao. Um, my understanding is that the unions were contacted and uh, requested if anybody wanted to volunteer and they did not have a big reception on the volunteers, but they did offer that. Okay, was that offered in writing or how, how was it disseminated to the I, I cannot answer to that question. That would be uh, Steve Malin in HR. Okay. If if we can find out, because I um, uh, know that in our last conversation, in, in order to reduce the budget shortfall, we were looking for or said we were looking for employees to volunteer, but However, I'm, I'm not hearing that from employees. So if we can have some clarification as to how you are reaching out to the employees. My um, understanding is that would be the, um, the union members would have been reached out by their, by their uh, union leadership. Madam Chair, Andrew Kendrivis. Andrew? Yes. Yeah, if I can, I, I just, I, what, what Kelly said was right, I think, for uh, Commissioner's question is really need to get um, a response from how it was treated. It sounds like the Commissioner really wants to know what communications went out, how they were treated. Um, so we can get that from HR, um, from uh, Mr. Malin, who's head of human resources personnel, um, and Joe Marnico, who handles all of our union negotiations. It's probably better if we get it directly and on all the communications and the steps that were followed. Um, so that we all have a better idea about that. That would be great because I think that would help us in our budget shortfall if we have <coughs> employees that would be willing to volunteer. Uh, they need to know the, the steps uh, of that and I would really like to know the steps as well. Yeah. Thank you. What I'm really interested in too is uh, I know that we have the, we approved the three unions uh, who came to us and gave a list of uh, people who were willing to volunteer to the executive. I would be willing, I would be interested to see how many of them from 
each of those unions volunteered. And I understand that there were like 227 laid off. And so what the percentage was that volunteered and if not, uh, Andrew, could you have personnel join us? Yes, Madam Chair, I, I think that uh, for the next Ways and Means, I'll definitely talk to Personnel and Human Resources. Uh, I think it'd be a good resource for some of these questions here. I would like them to uh, appear in our meeting now next week to answer the questions, and that way we can clarify all the questions that we may have. I'm sorry, did you want me to get a hold of them right now to get on this meeting? Um, no, I, well, see if you can, do members, uh, one I doubt, I doubt that, that I'll be able to get a hold of anybody right now, that's all I'm saying. Oh, well, then let's do it in two weeks, if you could invite them to our meeting for two weeks from now, and we'll put them on the agenda. Would you let me know if they can, so that way I can properly put them on the agenda? Yes, absolutely. I'll talk to you about that. And, and Madam Chair, to, to, to that point, um, can we also um, get some clarification <coughs> on what other methods um, the administration is looking at in uh, covering the, the the shortfall that we have, um, besides uh, the I think the that's furlough. coming to us in two weeks. Okay, in two Please, weeks. It's not coming in two weeks. <laughs> Kelly, are you still with us? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, we are currently uh, working. Uh, to pre prepare a, a projection on how we are will be covering any shortfalls. Okay, and 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 so Kelly, do you? I don't know if you you've already looked at maybe um, options that we could work with some of the major employer employers or taxpayers, maybe to uh, either loan us. Uh, funds in advance of, of their taxes being paid to, I don't know what other options you guys are looking at. And, and I just thought about that being um, one of them where, where they could pay us in advance taxes and then we pay them back over time. Um, and that's just a, just a thought. I will keep that in mind. I'm not sure how that would work. We are looking at uh, various ways to reduce expenditures, whether it's uh, through contracts or not um, entering into any type of expense or, you know, eliminating uh, unnecessary purchases or delaying various purchases. So we're looking at all of our options. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Commissioner Felicia would like to speak. Felicia? Yes, Madam Chairwoman. Um, I had my hand up. I kind of missed my opportunity, but I want to just advise you and the rest of the commissioners that I have engaged the administration with regards to the receipt of the grants related to COVID-19 and the proper process for um, receiving those through the commission. Is for, and the distribution of those funds. So we've inquired with regards to that because this body um, is required to not only receive those funds, but those funds shouldn't be distributed without your approval. I've also engaged them with regards to some of the questions you all have asked um, regarding the methods that they're looking at and the options they're looking at with regards to um, this budget reduction and deficit, because if it's something that's in the budget that requires an amendment, so I, I've engaged them with regards to whether those will be coming to this body beforehand or retroactively. I have a meeting to discuss that further with the administration on Thursday. As a part of that discussion, um, I've also engaged them with regards to MSU and we're in the process of scheduling a meeting to specifically talk about that contract because those services are required under the charter. Um, and with regards to their ability to actually terminate contracts that have been 
approved by this body since it's not a veto. So just to let the commission know that there are some discussions going on with their administration to make sure we're all on the same page and using the proper processes and procedures with regards to these matters. Thank you. Madam Chair. Yes. Yes, Commissioner. Thank you. Would you also ask Felicia to, to the, the question that I asked about the Children's Center, if some of those funds can be paid uh, for the um, uh, uh, Children's Center? Noted, Commissioner. Thank Noted. you. Noted. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, Felicia. Thank you. Uh, if, if there's any items that you would like me to put on next agenda, uh, please send me a note or Acti Activia and uh, uh, we'll try to get it on the agenda. If you want to hear from anyone at all, try to get them here. So um, if there is no other, um, such other matters, next item, please. Item G, public comment. Commissioner has received have no emails. No emails. Is there anyone listening um, in the public who would like to speak? Are they unmuted? Is everyone unmuted? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Anyone from the public wishing to comment? I hear conversations, but I don't hear anyone wishing to comment. I guess not. Okay, uh, next item then. Item A, assignment. So move. So move. So move. Support. Commissioner Martha G. Scott, who supported by I believe I believe I believe. Commissioner Sam Bay Dune. Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. We are adjourned. See you in a short while for another meeting.